Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at how charged particles move in electric fields. So let's get started. The first thing to know is that if charged particles pass through a uniform electric field, then they will be deflected. And the first example here shows this. So if we have an electron which has a negative charge on it, you'll notice if it passes between these two oppositely charged parallel plates, a positive charge in the top and a negative charge in the bottom, with a uniform electric field in the middle pointing down the way, then the electron will actually move in and curve up the way towards the positive plate. And that's because the negative charge of the electron is going to be attracted towards the positive charge. And it's also going to be repelled away from the negatively charged plate on the bottom. The second example here shows you electrons, protons and neutrons. So if we again have two oppositely charged parallel plates, this time we're not drawing the field lines down the way because they would get in the way of these lines and it would just look a bit messy, but just know that they would be pointing down the way. You'll see that our electron again it travels up the way towards the positive plate as we just saw. The proton, because it's positively charged, it will actually do the opposite. So it will curve down the way towards the negatively charged plate. And that's because the negative charge on the plate is attracting the positive charge on the proton, but the positively charged proton is also being repelled away from the positively charged plate. And lastly, you'll see the neutron moving straight through the middle with an undeviated path, so it's not being deflected at all. And that's because the neutron is neutral, remember, so it's not going to be affected by charge. So why are these particles deflected in a uniform electric field? Well, it says here that free charged particles placed in an electric field will experience a force and therefore move. So it's the fact that there is a force exerted on them in the electric field. It then says that work is done in moving a charge in an electric field. Now work done is a type of energy that you'll meet in the dynamics topic, but it's saying here that energy is needed to move the charge and it's actually a force that is causing this deflection. And lastly, it says that a positively charged particle placed in an electric field will always follow the direction of the field lines. So if we look back at this uniform electric field, for example, notice how the field lines are going from left to right. So our positively charged particle here would move from left to right. And that makes sense because it's going to be repelled away from the positive plate and attracted towards the negative plate. A negatively charged particle, however, will do the opposite. If we look back at the diagram there, if we think about a negative charge in there, notice that a negative charge would just want to stay where it is if you had it over this side, but if you started it on the right hand side near the negative plate, it would want to repel away from that and attract towards the positive plate. So a negatively charged particle would actually move against the field lines. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.